So we knew this was coming. Black women are lashing out at passport bros. Black women are lashing out at passport bros. They are fucking furious. They are going ballistic. Let's go ahead and jump into this video right here. I want you guys to have a look at this. This is a video titled Her Best to Password Bros. Ford women can have our trash. She is so disrespectful. But I want you to hear what this woman has to say because this is just downright terrible. I support the passport bro movement. The reason I support is because it's the lesser men who are choosing to leave. I'm going to suggest that you go. I mean, wow. we're not losing anything by losing you. Apologies to foreign women. I do not mean to be disrespectful and just dump our American garbage on your shorelines. You're not her. Holy fucking cow. Our American garbage on your shorelines. Like that's a lot of anger and that is a lot of hatred. And she seems to think that this is going to bring these men back. Oh my goodness. It's no wonder that men, these men are leaving, but my God, listen to the anger, hatred, and animosity this woman has towards African American men that are walking away, going overseas and finding wives with Filipinas hurting my feelings or any other woman's feelings by removing your weak lesser self from the market, which you have already been rejected. Go, go, go. I mean, these, these women are angry as, they are angry as hell. They are furious as fuck. I mean, the, the, the level of, of, of anger, my gosh. Welcome back to more to life. I can hold you. Let's do it. This is why this video is titled the way that it is. I support the passport bro movement. The reason I support is the lesser men who are choosing to leave. Let them go. Understand that in Western nations, the dating market is the varsity league. OK, yes, our standards are high. Yes, our demands are at least on par with what the demands of women are. Yes, we expect to have men that treat us a certain way. And if you can't meet those demands. See, now I'm going to side with her on that. And I get it. OK, you expect a certain amount of stuff, a certain a certain treatment. Right. And guys want the same as well. But she's not understanding what's happening. Right. The guys that are leaving, some of these guys, they're not the guys they don't want. They are the guys you don't want as far as the guys with swag and the guys that are have a thug mentality, right? Or the guys that have that natural attitude, that natural oomph about them to get any girl they want, right? So you just think about these guys that have that natural oomph about them. Sometimes they don't have that money in their pocket. Or even if they do, they don't want you. All these women want Chris Brown, but Chris Brown doesn't want you, boo. I mean, you can't even touch Chris Brown. Y'all acting like Chris Brown is Jesus. And, 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 I mean, y'all y'all really take a step back, because if Chris Brown was Jesus, a lot of y'all would be headed to hell, because he wouldn't let y'all into heaven. I'm just telling y'all how it is. And these women that are saying, you know, every woman has a certain expectation of men. But these American women, they're out of their minds. The average American woman makes $36,000 a year. The average American man makes $50,000 a year. Men making over $100,000 a year are about 17% of American men make over hundred make $100,000 a year or more. But only 8% or like 8.6% of American women make $100,000 or more per year. So men significantly out earn women, but women make 80% of all consumer purchases. So basically men are saving their money while women are spending their money, even though men are making significantly more money than women on average. But the problem is that these women, regardless, they don't want, they're making $36,000 a year on average. Men are making $50,000 a year on average, but that's not good enough because these women want men who are millionaires. They want men who make at least $100,000 a year. That's $100,000 a year. That's $300,000 over the course of three years, you know, Kevin Samuels once said to him, what are you trying to do with that kind of money? And they literally, she didn't, she literally had nothing. She could not respond. She could not respond. He said, what are you trying to do with that kind of money? $300,000 is $300,000 over the course of three years. What are you trying to do with that kind of money? And she could not give him an answer because in reality, what she's looking for is she wants 
She wants twenty thousand dollars Louis Vuitton purses. She wants to go on a, a ton of different vacations. She wants to buy him a brand new car, probably a brand new Tesla. She wants to live this 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 this, this lifestyle that's absolutely unbelievable. I was watching the fit the fit um Fresh and Fit pod, pod, podcast, and you had one woman who was who had a kid saying that. You know, why can't a man who has who has money take care of a take care of a child because she had a child, and you know this guy said that a lot of guys aren't going to do that, and she's like, you know, guy, you know, a lot of guys are only making like fifty thousand dollars a year, and she said, I'm not talking about broke boys, you know, she referred to millionaires as normal men, and she referred to men who make less than a million dollars a year as broke boys, like bro, not every man has that. Women won't even understand how to identify the men that they want really i'm i'm beating a dead horse by saying it over and over again but this argument will continue and she's a new woman making a video let me let her finish though we don't want you you did not make the varsity team that's a who said you're not hurting my feelings or any other woman's feelings by removing your weak lesser self from the market which you have already been rejected who do you think you are because let me let you know the good men who meet the standards are not having problems in the dating market over here (laughs) when we're looking for an ideal guy they have to be above six feet make at least six figures (laughs) they're fine and getting married we've got and she thinks that she is she thinks that she is this unbelievable beauty queen. Like that's a, that's the next thing. Like she thinks she is beautiful, so gorgeous, and she she can pull these men who are making ridiculous amounts of money that are stupid. These guys that are stupid tall, about six feet, that are making making six figures, and have all these different qualities. These are the women they think that they're they're entitled to them. Like this is unbelievable. They want a guy who's like one of the top athletes. They want NBA players, guys who are the top athletes in the world, guys who are over six feet tall. All right, guys who have dicks as long as Kevin Hart. You know, Kevin Hart is short, but it's a, but he's a big dick. You know, I mean, they want guys that 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 live these lifestyles that are just really not attainable for the average guy, and that's okay. It's okay for the average guy not to be able to afford a private jet. I mean, these women are fucking delusional. Got pl- We've got those. The men who are griping and whining and complaining and all that, they're the men that can't meet our standards. So what do we look like complaining about the men who we don't want in the first place? I'm not going to complain about my the D students leaving the honor roll class. You're getting a D and an F in the class. Because I'm big and you're small and I'm right and you're wrong. I'm going to suggest that you go. I don't want you to stay. We're not losing anything by losing you. The way that I support y'all leaving, I wish I could pack. Salty as fuck. Pack you on the boat. I would make. Well, it is, it is the losing because the men that these women want, they're in small supply, right? The guys that are 100,000, six foot tall, not even, just even take out six foot tall. The guys making over 100,000. This is not a lot of people who are making 100,000, right? Most people are average. So you don't qualify for those guys. Kevin Samuel spent two to three years showing women how the guy that you want, you don't qualify for. Uh, I don't know yep. why you want it other than the fact is you don't want to work. But you don't get it just because you want it. You don't qualify with your attitude. You have to earn it and deserve it. And that's why women in other countries are better because they don't expect much. And they're just looking for a guy that can provide, right? That's what it's really all about. You do have women back home, some, very small amount, that are like that too. But jumping on here, bashing guys and participating in what the other women are doing it's such, such a bad example for the woman out there, right? The only reason why she deserves attention from me right now is for guys to understand, look, you can do it. So many guys need to hear that. That's what a passport bro movement is extremely important, right? Because it's showing other guys, hey, look, you can leave. You can find success. You can find happiness. It's out there. And I mean, guys, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. 
I mean, there's there's one th there's one other thing I want to show you guys, and I'll link all this I'll link all the videos in the description of the video in case you want to watch the videos yourself, in case you want to check them out for yourself. Because I know you guys like to I know you guys like to watch the full videos, but I want to show you this because like I want to show you something else because like this because this is really what's happening out here. This is what's really happening out here because these women are out here acting the fool and they realize that the men aren't putting up with this shit. And by the way, before we get to you guys, just remember, if you're enjoying these videos, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. They'll support the channel so that we can continue to grow and put out more quality content for you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to go ahead and jump into this other video. I want you guys to see this, what men are really doing. This one is titled, He Found Love in the Philippines, A Veteran Story. This is from the Philippine, this is from the Philippine P. Hi folks, the Philippines to be here and I have here Emily Grace from my last week's video and she brought Zalpan The boyfriend Welcome to my channel and welcome to the Philippines Okay, so, you know, this is a Filipina and she brought her boyfriend, Dalton And, you know, I want you guys to listen to the story I want y'all to listen just listen to the story because this is not a game. This is real life. This is what's really happening. A lot of a lot of people don't seem to comprehend that this shit is this shit's not gonna it's it's gonna continue progressing in this direction. You know, more and more and more men are just gonna keep on waking up and seeing this for what it is. This guy right here, this is a veteran. But let's, let's check this out. Please give us a little background about yourself. So um, I am a uh, retired officially as of uh, 1 February from the U.S. Air Force. Okay. Um, I've been in the Philippines since October. October, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and are you planning uh, to stay here for gifts? Yes, um, the plan is uh, uh, to stay here for good. I'm 43. I'm soon to be 44. Okay, next month. Next month. Well, guys, happy birthday. Are there any big plans? Go to the beach. Go to the beach? Yeah. What's your uh, first impression of the Philippines thousand? Beautiful. Um, the people here are very welcoming, always smiling uh, from what I've seen, um, very uh, hospitable. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it's been great. I've been very blessed and fortunate. I heard you guys have good news. Yes, um, we are expecting. Um, it looks like most likely it's a boy. And wow. um, when when are we expecting? Uh, August. Yeah, yeah. August. August. Yeah. Wow! Congratulations. So, how did you know about? The so they're expecting a baby August? in three months. But what's really interesting is I want you to listen to the story. I want you to listen to how he found his Filipina. This is absolutely insane. This is a guy who was in the military for I believe twenty years. He's now out of the military. He's going to be collecting his military pension. That's a good amount of money, all right? It's a fair amount of money, especially when you're living in a country like the Philippines. And he's not going to have to work anymore. So now he has his woman. He has his chick. And he's collecting his his, his pension. And just, just check this out. This is a respectable guy, by the way. This is a respectable guy. He served for many years. He served for about 20 years in the U.S. in the U.S. Air Force. Those You have to be smart to get into the Air Force, all right? They don't just take anybody into the Air Force. The Air Force is the place that everyone wants to get into. This is an intelligent guy, all right? To stay in the Air Force, you also have to stay in shape, all right? You have to stay in shape. So this is pretty much it. This guy, he's not the – this guy is – this is pretty much as he is. He's an intelligent person. He's intelligent, you know. He's an intelligent guy. He's a hardworking guy, very dedicated. He helped protect the country for 20 years, all right? He put in his time. He's a veteran. He has excellent benefits, all right, so, I mean, excellent benefits, health insurance, everything else. His family will, the woman he marries will be taken care of, and he has his pension, so he does not have, he will not have to work. But let's continue. You find this lovely lady. Uh, through YouTube. Uh, through YouTube. Okay. Just uh, prior to coming to the Philippines, um, I had been uh, four years in Germany, and then I did four years in Japan. And, and okay. then in okay. um, you know, about 10 years or a little over that I've been out, um, out of the United States that I've not lived there. So, you know, I was just thinking of places uh, to live. And, you know, the Philippines was one of those where it would allow me off of my whatever pension I get. And, um, yeah, I just started looking up. Your channel was one of the first that popped up. There were All a few right. other ones as well. And um, I have been uh, come on to uh, her sister's Tuesday with her. Okay. Yeah. What made you decide? to uh, message Calibrace. Well, um, one, uh, I love the dress that she was wearing in that. Uh, what were you wearing? <laughs> in that thumbnail. That's my sister. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I just loved, um, from what I could see, her kindness, her carrying, uh, you know, OFW almost four years. Mm -hmm. And most of what she was making, she was sending back to her family to house for, mm -hmm. you know, her kids and her 
her mom and dad that were taking care of her. You know what's an interesting yeah. thing that a lot of guys are saying? A lot of guys are like, you know, people are saying, well, you know, if you marry a Filipina, she's going to take your money and use it to, to, to provide for her family. One, that's something you have to talk with her about. Like, you have to really speak to her and say, listen, you know, I don't want to support your family. Or if you're going to support your family, exactly what you expect of me. But on the other hand, you also have to f- factor this in. Here in the United States, we abandon our parents. Like, I mean, look at the very the baby boomers. They took their parents, they tossed them in all folks' homes, and they sold off all their property and lived off that shit for us for as long as they could. And now that money's running out and they're coming after the millennials. I mean, this is this is well, no, the millennials are fucked. We're 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 already um they've already fucked us. I mean, they've 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 churned everything they can really churn out of us. I mean, they'll find something else, but you know, they've 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 fucked us pretty good with student loans. But they're trying to go after the Gen Gen Z right now. But Gen Z is kind of like you know doing like doing like the um the Harlem Shake right now because like they're like not they're like, the the boomers like come on kids time to go to college and uh the Gen Z is like yeah college we're we're not so sure about those student loans can we read those can we read the fine print you know can we have a few years to look this shit over the uber was like no no you go to college and the gen z is like or what motherfucker or what old man i'll whoop your ass old man don't you talk to me like that don't you fucking talk to me like that old man and and the boomers the boomers are shocked the boomers are shocked okay the boomers are shocked. They're like, you know what, you fucker? I was just trying to help you. I was trying to help you to be successful. And, and the Gen Z is like, don't you lie to me, you son of a bitch. I see what's happened to the fucking, to the millennials, all right? You know how many millennial chicks are selling ass right now? Huh? You know how many millennials are selling ass right now on OnlyFans to pay back student loans? That's what you want for us, you motherfuckers? That's what you want for us? So they see what's going on. They see what's going on. But, you know, you look at a guy like this, this guy is 43 years old, so he's one of the younger, he's one of the youngest uh, Generation Xers, youngest Gen Xers, almost a millennial actually and you know he's he's put in the work and the thing is like, for example, the woman, this woman that he's that he's in a relationship with now that's pregnant with his baby. Uh, she's not the most beautiful woman in the world. You notice that some of these guys go over there and they get really beautiful women. Others, they don't get the most beautiful woman in the world. They get someone that basically they just feel comfortable with. And it's interesting because then they're like, this, they're, they're women who are like, these women are going to leave them. But these are a lot of these women are not the most beautiful women in the world. They're just kind of like be, at best homely looking chicks. And these men are happy to have them. And these women are happy to have these men. So even if you bring them back to the U.S., it's not like these are, these women are going to be able to like turn around and go grab a Chris Brown or sleep with NBA players. You know, and for a Filipina, the center of her life is her family. So she knows that going out and doing these types of things will only create problems in her life and she won't have anything. Because, the you know, what she's looking forward to, what she knows that when everything goes to hell, it will be her family that's there for her. I said to myself, man, uh, I can't even imagine, you know, the sacrifice um, and commitment that takes. So, um, and, you know, I just, she seemed very humble. And so I reached out, uh, created a Facebook account, um, messenger. Facebook yeah. account prior to that? No, no, no not at all. Oh, wow. And so you made a Facebook account and yeah. sent her a message. Sent her a message, you know, just kind of like, hello, my name is Dalton. Um, I saw your uh, video, your interview with your sister. I would love the opportunity to meet you. Mm-hmm. If, if you'd like that, please give me a call. So. What was your reaction to Dalton's first message? <laughs> Were you excited? Like, oh my god! Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm excited. And I, I asked Dalia, my sister. Okay. Then Dalia told me, okay, he just messaged him. You, you try to call him. Then I call him also. But that time he's sleeping. Oh, he was sleeping yeah. at that time. Okay. Yeah. Were you uh, amazed that she, she called you? Were you surprised? Yeah, I was. Um, because you know that's something I had never done before, and I was like, you know what? Why not? And when I saw the message, I, I kind of panicked a little bit because I was like, man, I missed her call. What you know? Okay. What if you know? And but uh, luckily, when I did call back, she answered. And here we are, and ended up together um ended up meeting you yeah um, I've seen, awesome. you know some of your videos and it's like uh, well, surreal it's, it's awesome to meet you guys this is one of the rewarding things about doing this kind of job mm-hmm. meeting different kinds of people out of other asian countries what draws you to the philippines so I, I you know um i had parts of that i had narrowed it down i was looking at the philippines i was looking at um cambodia okay um and then also i thought about thailand um, as well um okay. but to be honest me not being a linguist okay. I, I, you know english is my only language and i Sometimes I don't do that well. So um, <laughs> in the Philippines uh, is, is definitely easier for people that speak English here. And Filipinos just seem to be natural linguists. Most Filipinos I run into, they know at least three languages. Their right. local dialect, um, Tagalog, and then English at least. So, um, so 
the English, I mean, the language barrier. It's yeah, and, and then uh, also my faith of uh, being a Christian, and you know, the Philippines is, is big on Christianity, so mm -hmm. um, it was kind of a perfect fit. So. Well, that's awesome. I mean, so guys, there you really have it. You know, this is why men are walking away from society, walking away from Western society, walking away from Western women, and say, you know what, I'm going overseas. I'm going to get myself a Filipina. I'm going to live my best life. And this is another reason why the women, you know, these miserable women in the West are going fanatical and they're furious that these men are leaving because they know that they don't have any other options. They've 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 lost they've lost all their options. They've lost their Plan B guy. This is why black women are lashing out at the password bros because they know that they have nothing but they've been nasty to these men for so long they don't know how to treat a man with kindness because the only tactic they've had is to be disrespectful to men to put down men to attack men that's all they've used that's how that's, that that those are tactics those are narcissistic tactics used to control people but now that the men are running away they're walking away they don't they, they have nothing else they don't know how to use they don't know how to use honey all right they don't have that shit they don't have any femininity so they're they're fucked but I mean, this is the situation they put themselves in, and I don't feel sorry for them. And again, guys, if you are enjoying these videos, you need to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and share the videos to help the channel continue growing. But let me know what you think about this, that black women are lashing out of password bros because they're out of options now. They're plan B guys. They're like, fuck this shit I'm out. All right, now, fuck this shit I'm out. I don't even care. I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. Well, that's everything for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll talk more about this. Go ahead and hit the... Go ahead and uh, you see, I've got to do the outro now, but it gets hard. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, which is men walking away and cheers. Uh, guys, you need to support the channel. Sup support us on Subscribe Star. You can find a link in the description of the video. Peace.